Okay, let's look at how to import a step file into, into FreeCAD, uh, process it using KiCad step up tools, uh, make a footprint and a 3D model for use in FreeCAD, uh, sorry, in, in, in KiCad. And hopefully uh, I'm having some issues with the position of the 3D model relative to the footprint. I don't know how to solve them uh, without manually aligning it. And I'm hoping that there's a programmatic or, or straightforward way to, to do that. And if anybody knows about it, uh, that's sort of the purpose of this video is to try and get a bit of help with uh, answering that question. Anyways, this is honestly the 10th time that I've tried to do this today. And every time I try and record the screen, it throws some strange bug in KiCad or the audio goes wrong or, or something happens. So uh, hopefully with this one, we can nail this in, in one take, uh, start to finish and um, get it up on, on YouTube and, and go from there. I just say, if anybody is able to help with fixing this uh, or getting me over this hurdle that I'm having trouble with, uh, I will make a tutorial about how to do this and upload it to YouTube. I've seen some uh, and it seems like they're, you know, they're very helpful, uh, but it seems that the versions of the software have moved on a little bit since they were made, as is always gonna happen when things are moving rapidly along like FreeCAD is and the KiCAD step up tools as well. Stuff's getting fixed all the time and things are improving constantly. So let's get going. This is the step file of a relay socket that I've downloaded from DigiKey uh, and it's really cool. Um, but you can see there's two things that we need to fix. First one is that when you look at it from the top, it's not in the right orientation for how it would be installed on a PCB. Like you want it so that the top view would be what you would be looking at straight down on the top of the PCB. The other thing is, is that it's got, uh, it's made up of two parts, the base and the lever which need to be joined together before we can uh, do too much more with it. So let's open up KiCad Step Up Tools and open up their little toolbar. It's very helpful. Select the base and the lever and make a union from them. Uh, delete the original parts. Um, rotate it about the X axis 90 degrees. Ask me how I know that. I've done this literally 10 times today. Um, and at the moment you can turn on the axis and you see that it looks like it'd be right in the right, about the right spot if we were using the XZ plane as the plane of the PCB. But unfortunately the uh, KiCad step up tools, I think it only allows you to use the XY plane as the plane of the PCB. So we need to rotate this part. And as soon as we do, you'll see that it moves. Uh, obviously the axis of rotation, I think is sort of the center of the bounding box in the plane normal to the axis that you've selected. Um, it's got to pick some axis of rotation. Um, and because of that, it moves off of the plane uh, that it needs to be on to, to get it onto the PCB. Now, some, some things that I've tried and every time it just, it fails. Um, one, of the, one of the things that I've hoped would work would be going into the workbench, the draft workbench, and making sure that endpoint snapping is turned on and then move this part um, like let's try and get this corner up on the origin and so we can do that by going zero 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 after selecting that point make sure that relative is deselected and hit enter and that just moves the part promisingly up onto the xy plane uh, with that corner on the z-axis uh, with that corner i should say on the or origin um, so it looks it looks great right but we'll see why that doesn't work when i go into the next steps so the next step i'll go into the part design workbench and I don't want to create a body that's empty. I want to create a body that uses this as its base feature. So I'll go away from tasks, back into the model tree, select that part and create a base feature, uh, create a, a, a body based on that. And you can see that as soon as I do that, it moves back to the original position. It's as if that draft workbench move that I did had no effect. And I've tried various things looking at the position uh, in, in this placement field here and bringing that over into the body and it, it still, it, it doesn't work. Um, anyways, what we'll do is we'll make a datum plane uh, in part design that um, is sort of defined by the, uh, the feet of the part that would be in contact with the PCB once it uh, touched down. And uh, then we'll go ahead and make a sketch on that datum plane to define the pads uh, that we want. So let's just turn off that datum plane and we'll look at the bottom side uh, to make it a little bit easier to pick stuff. And 
then we will use this tool to create an edge link to external geometry. So obviously the external geometry that we want to link to are the corners of these pads. Okay, and now we can turn off the base feature and make it even easier to see. Draw a few circles. And I'm sure the uh, FreeCAD experts are out there crying right now at how I'm doing this. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. Um, but please, if you do know, share, share some of your knowledge with me in the comment section or uh, at, on Twitter where I'm going to post this. Um, but I mean, this is the reason that I'm doing this in the part design workbench is that I'm very, I'm very sort of familiar with other commercial CAD packages that are sort of feature driven and work the way that this does. Like you can use sketch constraints to, to draw things and um, they sort of capture that design intent and it's all, it's all very nice. And um, so it's, you know, this is just what I'm used to. Uh, if this worked to draw footprints, it would be a very, very powerful, I mean, it works to draw footprints, right? So it is a very powerful tool. Um, you bring in a lot of functionality um, adjacent to, to KiCad or, or KiCad or whatever that it uh, just doesn't doesn't otherwise have so um, really super awesome that uh, this exists at all but I think with a few key usability improvements it could get even better and maybe maybe something some of the developers or one of the developers uh, watches this video and gets inspired to um, change a little bit the the UI or whatever about how you know Make that button that I need <laughs> show up in this uh, step up tools toolbar here. Anyway, so we've got a, um, a fully constrained sketch that defines the pads that we want. Let's make another sketch that will define the um, the uh, what am I saying? The silk screen. Okay, and let's bring in some external geometry from the base feature and just a handful of corners and that. Just to make a box, I'm going to make a real simple silk screen layer here. Um, we can definitely do more than this, um, but uh, for now, we're just going to roll like this. So let's look at the bottom and turn off the game that base feature because I think we've got everything we need. And then we'll just draw a square. Nope, draw a square. Come on. What's going on here? There we go. Something goes weird with my free cab when I'm when I'm recording the screen. Anyways, uh, let's right. Does that look right? Let's see. Yeah, looks good. Okay. So now we will go back into uh, KiCad's, well, let's get out of the sketch. And go back into uh, KiCad's step up and open up the demo project, footprint template, copy the rep and value up from there uh, because they're needed to, to make the footprint as well. Um, and you can see right away that, you know, they're coming up on this, on this X, Y plane and that's sort of another symptom of the, well, indicative of the problem that we're going to see, uh, in a moment. So let's rename this sketch we'll rename this, uh, pads, uh, T H S N D and we'll rename this one F silks 0.16. So when KiCad Step Up Tools is converting stuff to a KiCad module sort of footprint, 
it uses the names of the sketches to tell it what layers to put things on. So now that we've got our two sketches for the one sketch for the silk screen, one sketch for the pads, and the ref and value, that's all we need to make a footprint. And we can export it, and you can see that I've been doing a lot of this. Um, so let's call this number five. New footprint. Okay, good. Now, if we load that footprint back in, we can see uh, if it works. There we go. And for some reason, that wasn't working before. It was failing silently to load it, but whatever. Here we are. Um, it's now clear to see, plain to see, that that footprint looks right, for sure. It's got the right shape, so the silk screen is in the right place. The pads are all uh, in the right places, um, it appears. Let's just double check. So look from the bottom up. And yeah, we can see that the sort of two pads there are, are there, and it's all, you know, sort of proper. Um, it's not backwards, like it's not flipped over or anything like that. It's just offset. And at the moment, I think what the suggestions are uh, in the stuff that I've heard so far is to use these sort of manual knobs to, to drive around the, the footprint so that it lines up with the footprint or with the, to, to drive around the model so that it lines up with the footprint that I've created. I don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> I think it's the, is the fundamental. Um, I think that, you know, I, 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 I should, there should be an easier way. Like when I re-import the footprint, since I've created it in FreeCAD and exported it to, to KiCad's format and then re-imported it, it should show up in the same place. There should be a way that I start those, like I want to start these sketches uh, up here so that, you know, it's all in the same spot. And then when I export the model, I don't have to align it. Uh, and when I import the footprint, I don't have to align anything. Um, it would be, you know, it, it strikes me as something that I'm missing that it would be straightforward to do uh, to make this work. And I can tell you, you know, well, let's see, how long are we? We're at 12 minutes now. Let's, um, I'll make another video about importing this into KiCad. But just, you know, you can trust me that when I import it into KiCad, it shows up in the same spot. Uh, so when I import this, if I export this model using that button there and re-import it into KiCad, and try and associate it with this footprint. If I do nothing, it shows up exactly the same. I can also use the offset tools in KiCad to uh, to move things around. And I I just don't think that that's the right way. Like it, I should be able to start this footprint off in the correct place and and do everything without entering a manual a manual offset uh, when all the data is is coming from from the same place. Uh, so please, if you have any insight on how that might work please let me know. Uh, I would love to hear from you in the comments section or, uh, or over on Twitter. Thank you very much.